and welcome <laughs> to this awesome place of Sankabui. Oh, it is awesome. I'm not where I wanted to be or where I should be. I'm basically lost. I am, and time is against me. But you know what? I am happy because look where I am, man. Sankabui is a traditional old Thai wooden Mon village right on the biggest reservoir in the whole of Thailand, which is home to the second longest wooden bridge in Asia. This isn't that bridge, no. No, this is a much smaller one I've just found in the backside of this village. Oh, I'm happy. Of course I'm happy. This is awesome. It is awesome. And look at the trees. I don't know if that's a man in this sunken. There's another wooden bridge there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's how Thailand used to be. The guy is just tapping away on his bamboo, making a new raft for himself. These people have probably had a little bit of an inheritance, I reckon. <laughs> Looks like they're building all their new builds there. As you look right here to this guy who obviously hasn't had any inheritance uh, recently. A few log fires, he got his laundry out. That's his home, man. It's people's homes. But it's easy living like that. Got a little bit of real estate out the front here. Probably got his boats so and go out snakehead hunting. It's just, it's just beautiful, man. Beautiful, right? Hang on. I ain't got me bike keys. Uh, <laughs> I just, I was a bit wild, wild west there, yeah? As much of it as beautiful. Don't want to leave much stuff laying about. No, no, no. So, this is, I'm at the place I want to be. I am. I'm not. Ah, it's, it's okay, it's body. Okay? Five minutes? Yeah, no English? No, man. It's okay, camera. It's okay. Say hello. This guy, you good? <laughs> okay, uh, me, I, I walk there, five, five minutes, I come back. Okay? <laughs> he seem all right. He seem all right. So I'll put me out on in case he takes a liking to it. <laughs> Local Mon people, they probably speak a different language. Uh, it's, it's right here, Mon, being right here on the border, I'm looking where I'm going because uh, it's a bit of a trip as it may be. Maybe the odd loose one and I don't want to lose my leg or go through the bridge. Now what's brilliant is why I've come here because I've lost my fear of walking over bridges. That is for sure. So we're right on the Burmese Miramar border and the bridge that I want to go to, the big one in a bit, is, is basically called the Mon Bridge. This is, these people are Mon people who live between, right on the edge between Thailand and Miramar, and they're allowed to do trade with each other. I think the trade barriers are open. I'm not sure I can renew my visa here. Oh, really not. Well, it's just a beautiful sight to see. Just real, natural, raw Thailand. Oh, man. Oh, like I say, people's homes are just made out of bamboo and bits and bobs of stuff. So this whole breeze blog, put together stuff, that'll do. Probably ain't had a string line or any spirit level or anything, but that'll do. <laughs> you can, I probably could get the bike up there, I don't know. Oh man, but just looking back, incredible. It's just brilliant to see. And I'm gonna run up here because this may be, for all I know, the route to the main bridge. Just don't know, I've not been on this side of the river before. When I came here before, I just rode in to the small middle part of town, which is now changed uh, dramatically. So I ain't got a clue <laughs> where I'm going. I have not. So I'll go back on yours. I will, and then I'll look to see how to get to the Mon Bridge. That's all I come here for, to get there and just ride over it, or walk over it. Telling you a little bit about oh man. These, these visual sights, as soon as I see them, that bridge, the way it's been built, 
just blows me away. It's just mental to see. And even though there's been masses of development in and around this village, it's incredible like this. It, it has retained all of its originality. How about that? Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Whoa. Watch where you go, mate. I won't fall through the floor. As beautiful as it is, it's a major trip hazard and an accident <laughs> waiting to happen. And no, no, I won't be riding the bike over here, even though it would be a pretty good video for the 4K action cam channel. But no, wow, man. And I'm getting hot. It's, it was cold coming here because I come here at speed. Right, guys, hang in there while I go and find the proper bridge. All oh, right, we're on. That's all I need, man. Camera issues, because it's getting so hot. Have I found the Mon Bridge? I have not. No. I found this place, though, <laughs> with some great big sphinxes. Sphinx? Look like a sphinx, but I know they're not a sphinx. So we're going in here. Oh, hang on. No, I'm good. Please dress modestly. Oh, I have. Take off your shoes. That's annoying because I've not got my slip slops with me. No, I've got my boots and socks. I'm going in, in the hope. Oh, I love the smell of incense. I do. All right. Butter, butter, butter. <laughs> Shh, be quiet. I only come in here to see if I can get a view of elevation to where the ratty bridge is. <laughs> I'm proper, proper lost. I am. I don't mind. I'm starting to get a bit sweaty. I am. I think you can only walk around. I don't know, it's a bit slippery. I was hoping perhaps I could climb up to the top. Oh man, but look, these are all shut up, but there could be a wicked garden tour to be had. Oh man, and these Buddhas, they are all, always, I love the Buddhas. They're wicked looking things, they really are. Oh, there's loads of them. Loads. A festival of Buddhas. And I'm now closer to... Oh, look at that Buddha, look, man. That is massive. That is fantastic. Currently still being built. Scaffolding all around it. Oh, man. What a cool place. San Kabiri is a cool place. It has changed a lot for a good oh, for the good I can see the steer how do I get in yeah we got in we are it is dark it is dark is this the chamber is this oh get a little bit a little bit more oh man there's even more buddhas Oh, all in their little placements along. This, awesome. They are awesome. This brilliant. Oh man, I'll walk around this one. I'm like, oh. One thing's for sure, it's gonna be a hard day. I'm getting exhausted. Spit of sun. Ah, walk around this great big gold lump of whatever it is. Probably looks quite majestic with the sun on it. Oh, probably. Possibly go for an artistic, I don't know, an artistic thumbnail. I'll keep working on them. I'll crack them one day. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll make the ultimate thumbnail. 
Oh, that everybody will click on. Oh, I'm sure. One day, perhaps today, it's not the day. So I can't go in. I would have get to the top. No, I did. Where? Good wagon wheel, man. That is a big wheel. I'll go down. I suppose I'll come up the other way. Let's go down this way. Um, so this is good. I'm really glad I found it or got lost because otherwise I would just be making exactly the same. Same Kabuki vlog. It's just about everybody else. <laughs> it's the best thing about not having any plans about getting lost. Just making up a vlog. Oh man, are they real? No. Wow. Good. Right. Get my boots back on. Ah, oh, mate. I've gone all uh... <laughs> Right. Forgot his name. Winston, I've gone all right. Winston on ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, sweaty cap. How, how do I get to the Mon Bridge? Can, can get the, a motorbike? Mon Bridge? The wooden bridge. Come on, you must know the wooden bridge. You don't know? Hang on, this guy knows. Oh, cool. he's French, I think. Wow, awesome. How'd I get there, buddy? Because I'm lost. Which way? Oh, you got GPS? Yes. Oh, I've got GPS. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so no, three, four kilometers. Ah, okay. I missed the About. turning. You are working? Or you have a car? Ah, uh, motorbike. A bike? Oh, ah, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Bike. And you can ride over it on the yes. motorbike? Yes. You oh, brilliant. You turn here. Go out, this yes. Way. Uh, and then to take the right for two times. Okay. Uh, allora, now we are here. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the road. Ah, okay, yes. Check the right. Check the right. Uh, and there's, there's until... the bridge there. Okay, there. Mon Bridge. I'm going to put it in my GPS, yes, buddy. It's yes. Very near. Then I can make it easy. Yes. yes. Where are you from? Uh, England. England, why? Uh, uh, Norwich. Eh? East Coast, Norwich. Norwich? Norwich, yes, oh, Norwich. Oh, Norwich, wow. Okay. You know Norwich? Yeah. And where in France are you from? No, uh, Italy. Uh, oh, Italy. Oh, Italian. Italian. Oh, Florence. Oh, Florence is the home of, of the artwork, right? The artist in Florence. Yeah, yeah. many artists. Many there. Uh, Michelangelo. Yeah. Oh, man. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Galileo. Yes. Oh, yes. Galileo Galilei. Yes. Wow. Michelangelo. He's the man who did the Sistine Have you Chapel. Have never been busy from Not yet. Not no. yet. Okay. I'm not yet. Time. But one day. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Right. Okay, bon, how do you say buongiorno? Buongiorno. 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 Bene. Okay. Arrivederci. Bella, bella. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Wicked, man. Italian in the house. Brilliant. And so, hang on, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to put my boots on. I'm going to find the Mon Bridge on my GPS so I don't get lost. I can actually get there and make the vlog I've come for. Oh, man. That's really good. People, the best. Best all round, man. Their mobile phones are all right. Give me a person I can talk to any day of the week. And it's cool, isn't it? People are cool, man. They really are. Oh, we're on. I think I'm here. Not sure. I think. But the first thing I've seen is this great big marketplace where you can buy a pop gun. They're pretty cool looking pop guns, if that's what they are. Or a sword. Is that a sword? Maybe. <laughs> so, this is what looks like a wooden bridge. But, oh, it is. It must be the wooden bridge. But I can't. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's in use anymore. Ah, all these people walking a motorbike. And I want a motorbike across. So is this it? Let's have a look. Sweaty cap. All right, I can go in. I don't know how you'd be able to get your motorbike on here. Yeah? It's Harry. But it's like a proper. All right, Harry. Good. It's what he kept. You're good. <laughs> but there's a whole market village been built 
just here. No smoking, it's against the law to smoke in this area. Also no drinking either. You need a hand? You good? You need a hand? No? Okay, it's Harry. Where are you from? England. England? Yes. How long have you been in that island? Nearly, oh, just over two years. But this bridge is no longer in use? Yeah, 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 yeah. No in use? Okay, but uh, I can walk. Okay. Oh, cap on, cap on cap. A good Harry. Harry is okay. So, <clears throat> I have come almost 300 kilometers and I have almost 300 kilometers to drive back. And the whole point of me coming here was to ride my motorcycle over Thailand's second largest wooden bridge. But now, you can't do that. <laughs> you cannot. No, it's a traditional lady. You can walk over it though. You can walk over it. Sweetie Cap, carrying her, washing and her food on her head. So this is a pain because now I've got to ride the, the horse. You see the, where the minibus is? Gotten over on that bridge. Well, I've got to ride the horse all the way back around that precarious <laughs> road, avoiding trip hazards. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> yes, avoiding trip hazards. But, you know, I come. I have seen. I have left my fear of walking over bridges at home. So now, I can walk along this bridge. And it is quite something. It really is. It gets repaired on a constant basis, obviously, but you can get your boat tour. Ah, oh, the motorboat tour club. I can literally, if I rode my horse down here, um, they mightn't be able to get me over there. In, oh man, that beautiful tree there, look, the roots of that, that is awesome. That is a proper fish hanging area. You put that there, you might have a snakehead. But it was a wonderful looking area. It is beautiful. Beautiful, man. And some of the people who actually live on the reservoir in those houses, some of them have never ever made it to shore. No, they have not. There's another wicked building. <sighs> right there, mate, he's having a swim. Probably looking for some crustaceans. But it is his proper man. Even this, this old bamboo place there with all the old fish and um, squid traps, lobster traps. All this maybe a little bar in there. That is a cool looking spot. Oh man, people really living proper off the land. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful. That, that's quite a little hippie floating raft that there. That really is. A wonderful place. And I think that they've built a resort there. That wasn't there before. It's probably looking that it could be an abandonment. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. It's superb. So I am going to walk the bridge. I'm now wishing I'd have brought the camera out of the horse. Um, I have bit off a little bit too much to chew today. I have. My initial plan... Oh man, I said no, he's a kingfisher, mate. Ah, oh, I'm not going to creep up on him. My original plan was to stay here at night time and then ride the bike back the next day, stay in, there he is. You see the gold post there on my left? Now, is it a kingfish or a parrot? You see him? The only way we'll know is as I speak him. Well, I don't think it's a kingfisher. Let's make a bit of noise. Can you see him? There we go. No. Oh, you can see how blue he is now. Flip your wings up. Ah. So, yes. <laughs> I like to say my plans change like the wind. They really do, based on anything and everything. And so I was going to stay one night here, which, looking back in hindsight, maybe I should have, because I could have stayed on one of those little floating bungalows over there, or I could have stayed on one of these little floating bungalows here, where it looks like you get a kayak, oh, that, and, and then you can kayak all around here. Nah, didn't know how much this place had been redeveloped rebuilt. I really didn't. I thought it was going to be a skank getting as run down as it was when I was here last time. But it is not. Oh man. Oh man. 
that may be an abandonment. <laughs> that may be my next destination before. Because all what was here before, none of these buildings in front of me were there. That was all really skanky, all really run down, really run down with just one bar. That was it. That was it. Nothing else here except the floating pom pontoon where you could go up and down on a motorboat. But things have changed, man. These apartments look really cool. They really do. I wonder if I can get a look in there. Because that would be a vital bit of information, really. <laughs> it would. It's the sort of information I would have liked to have known. Um, prior, prior, prior hand. Because now today I'm going back to, to Kanchanaburi. And that's the mission, to get back there. And hopefully my mate, his Aussie's bar, was shut yesterday because it's Monday. We'll be open. And I'll, be, I'll have a proper steak. And a proper happy ending. Ah. Ah. That's either before or after I meet my buddy who I met in Van Tien, Lao. Oh man, the guy who I met coming off his taxi, getting off his taxi and he took me for a few beers. What about that? I bumped into him on the street in Kanchanaburi yesterday and I was like, well, I've been looking for you. I'll buy you that beer. <laughs> so we went up to the note bar. Well, I'll probably go and see if he's there this evening. Right, guys, that is me. I have walked and I have talked and now I've got to fight my way off the bridge. Boom. <laughs> Swaddy Keb, you good? Good, good, good. You all right, darling? Good, no, no, kapum. Paddy Doyle, where is he? It's Paddy Doyle's bike. There, there, there is, that is Paddy Doyle's bike. It's your bike? No? Where is he? Where's the owner? Where is Paddy Doyle? <laughs> Kapum. He, he, he thinks it's funny. He knows who Paddy is. I'm sure that's his bike. Just never know. Right, there is another bridge which will take you over there to the village. And there are lots of little trinkets and stuff here, which is good because I, I haven't, like I said, I haven't eaten. Haven't drinking, <laughs> and it's time is getting on. It really is. Oh man, but I, I'm buzzed up. I am. You call me Mr. Light, yeah. And that is wicked. I can get a spectacular view of the bridge. I can. I can walk the planks. I can see this wonderful construction going on. And I can, whoa, man. Whoa. I can find some info out for you guys if you want to come and stay. Man, the water goes so deep, so quick. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. It's just beautiful. Just seeing all, all that wood, that wooden structure, man. Can you imagine? That is how the original bridge over the River Kwai looked when they built it in 1940s or whatever. That's how it would have looked. <laughs> Not how it looked today. Right, we're in. So if it's a reception guy, he show us about. Swaddy Kep? Swaddy Kep? Hello? No? Okay. Oh, we shall ponder free. Oh man, it's all these little rafts, little walkway. Really cool to see. Cool spot. You see the back of the apartments, they're having a clean out. It's just really cool. I like it, they've got bins. What an amazing view. Ah, that's the way round. Swaddy Kep, you have room? You have, can, can you show me? Show me room for video, it's, it's good. How are you, Spotty? Good, 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 good. We'll see what our room's like. Hopefully, <laughs> and you can only get to them from the back here, not from the front. Oh man, you can have your own barbecue in your room, man. Probably bring all your food so you can have a cookout. Oh, how good would that be? Swaddy cap. So I'll go through here. 
Oh, the lady looks a bit clean and I'll talk up because of the moose arc. Oh, how lovely is this? You can sit out here. Your little living room. Wow, look at that. That is a cool room. I'm not going in, guys, because I've got my shoes on. That is beautiful. Even the nice untouched chipboard, that is now a feature. Chipboard is now a feature. It is an artistic thing. Look at it. Raw chipboard. I've never seen anything like that. Raw chipboard. That is, and that is some nice wood there. You just need a big TV here. Oh, man. In your view. Uh, how much for one night? Three thousand for one night. Whoa, okay. So it's not cheap, but I tell you what, it's very unique. And you can sit and watch all the ladies having a fag break. It's good. It's good. Having a lady just having a smoke. Good, good. <laughs> and it is a beautiful view. But you know, so there you go. I wouldn't have stayed, but couple, couple cat man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice guy. Please take off your shoes. Now my boots are clean. <laughs> Cut from cap. Just want to have a look. Now, now you guys have got 3,000 budget a night to stay, which I tell you what, if that includes a free buffer, it's, it's, expect it's expensive, but it's a unique place to stay. It certainly is, like no other. And even sitting here, I think this may even be a bigger room, you know? Sitting there for nighttime eating, kayaks, sup board oh man what not to like fantastic i'm really glad i made it back to sankapui i am i am indeed um so i don't know what the apartments are but i bet if you go on booking or something or a goda yeah it won't take long to find it it won't decent little guy to show me i just love this area just love it. Just looks awesome. And the people seem kind, helpful. They, they obviously not had that many Western tourists because they don't speak much Western language. Obviously, not like places in Bangkok or Pattaya or even Phuket. Man, that's what it comes down to. So you can actually come to Sankaboy and have a proper real Thai experience. Might want to find somewhere a bit cheaper, but that's just, yeah, if it's two of you, or four of your family, not too bad. Right, I have, my next mission right now, before I go home, is to get over there. It is. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, I guess I will. I'll have to do what I always do, and that is, just find a way. I will. Kapoom, kapoom cap. Kapoom cap, cheers buddy. How wicked. And this is, if you go out into the reservoir, this is the old church. The old mon oh, sorry, that's the church and the monastery. All still pigment out and you can get a boat. You see the Buddha still inside. All these images from an island right out, well not an island. If you look at it like that, like that, that is right out there somewhere. Well, it's a wicked boat trip journey. It really is. Either 300, 500 or 1500. And like I say, you can go to see these as well. Which is cool, man. That's really cool. What else? Ah, oh, details. Ah, so here you go, look, full details. One temple, three temples, old city gate, 800. There it is. Three temples in the Japanese cliff, three temples, old city gate, 1200. So you can see the lot for 1,200, which will probably take four or five hours. But look at these pictures, man. They're really cool. Okay, next time. Kapoom, kapoom cap, thank you. Oh, that is wicked. And here comes, here comes me mate, look. So what a beautiful, beautiful sight. Oh man, next time I come back, you know what? I just may have 3,000 baht to stay there for two nights and do a proper, proper vlog here in the future and tell you what it's like staying there, making my own buffet and all the rest of it and going out on a boat trip 
to watch all the temples, everything. Captain Cab, thank you. It's cool. Great vision. Oh man. <laughs> I know I give the monks a bit of stick, but you can see that old guy ain't out begging. He's just a genuine old monk. It's like the police. Half of them are corrupt as anything. The other half are all right. It's like, I'm sure you get that in the Western world. Maybe 90% of the coppers are horrible. <laughs> and it may be 98%, I don't know. And every once in a while, you'll meet an all right one. It's the world over, isn't it? Look at priests or vicars in the UK. 90% of them are probably Sorry. Oh, all through the love, the love, the heart of love. Can you feel it? You feeling the love? <laughs> oh yeah. No, my heart. So, is this, it is. This is a place that is not abandoned. No, it is not abandoned. <laughs> it is not. It is fully functional. The toilet's over there. There's just some booths there. If you just want to chill out and get out of the sun, it is. There's some ambient music coming from somewhere. There is a pathway and a wooden bridge, which you can walk until you get somewhere around there and you might think, hang on, maybe that place is abandoned. <laughs> no motorbikes allowed up here. It's just like a viewing area, isn't it? But it looks like, oh man, we well can go down here. I'm liking Sankabui, I really am. It's just visual. Ah, oh, mate, it could be a restaurant. Uh -huh. That's all right, I left everything in the horse. <laughs> It's a bit wild, wild west, so I do have a little bit of a concern. But, oh man, my camera, oh, this is the spot. This is a spot. Like I say, that place there might look a little run down. I had a better day, I've got a bit of copyright music, that's not good, because I've got to talk really loud over there. Oh, which is annoying. It is really annoying. Hopefully I'll get over it. If not, I'll have to cut this bit out. But it's a wicked, wicked walk. It's a wicked walk. And this proper steel structure, I'll just show you where I'm walking to. Do you see where I was earlier? Well, I'm going to show you where I was earlier. I was looking over here thinking, man, that looks like an abandonment. I'll have to, hang on, yep, just checking the vocals is on, just making sure I've got a beat for my vocals. Because <laughs> wouldn't that be a pain if I didn't have any sound? Actually, this is not a good idea. I've just realised I've got to walk all the way back up to the top. I have. Oh man, what a wicked place. There might be bungalows there. Well, actually, that may be abandoned. They're building something there, all on this stage work. Probably bars. Might be a great place to spend your evening. And this wicked spot here. And I it was just over there. Right, we're nearly there. It's just, this place is just full of amazing views you walk about and this looks like it may have been something it may be up for redevelopment i just really don't know don't know it's a wicked spot and there is there's all sorts of doors walkways it's like a seminar room there's loads of chairs and that in there probably have seminars and all sorts here but not a great walkway Walk all around. You can even get further. <laughs> further and further around. <clears throat> I'm making hard. Oh, I am. I've got to do it. Like, it's hard day's graft, hard day's work. Well, I was going to be only going to be here for an hour just walking along that bridge. But I just didn't realise how much the place has developed, how much to see. And like I say, from a YouTuber's point of view, it's my job to show you. Is this place worth a visit or not? I mean, that's going to be wicked when that's built. This place is really cool, but I think all the wooden stuff there is closed down. This is not operational, but you can come and have a walk around here, which is fantastic. And you've got the view of the bridge right there. What a spot. 
Oh man, you can hear the boats going up and down this estuary because the main reservoir is right out there and it is massive. There we go, it's wicked watching this boat. <laughs> Super. It is. It's a, it's a wonderful, beautiful place. And even though this place isn't abandoned as such, it's all kind of closed down, look. It's up for something. Someone must be able to make something out of that. And that's where I walked. There's the old hippie unit right there. Walked all along there. That was cool. And as you get an insight into this little village right here, where, hold oh, around, you see the wooden bridge there? That's the first wooden bridge that I walked across and then ran up. And the reason I couldn't, and the wooden bridge, oh man, I was so close. I was so close from there, would have been a short walk up to there, man. So if I'd have gone all the way up to that road, I may, I may have found it. I was going to say, my bearings aren't that bad. They're not. My built-in compass is still working. That's good news. That's really good news. Because I thought I'd lost that skill. It's just a make-up. Like I think, well, I know where I am. I was going that way. Oh, man. Cool, cool spot. Right, tell you what, this is a cool spot. I'm not gonna oh, actually ride your motorbike down there. Um, oh, I don't wanna get lost. <laughs> not lost, I don't wanna have to walk all the way back <laughs> and then go up a different way. That's the thing, no. So I can go, it looks like you can come down here on your, on your vehicle. So I'm kind of up here. So I knit one. It's all got drainage and everything. It's our drainage system building. It's cool. A wonderful view. Man. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> wow. So I'm actually, lucky for you guys, it's not abandoned. Because that would be on the other channel. Because this is what is this? Me exploring and adventuring around. Whew, this area, it is exhausting. Right, that's that music kicking me back. So give me a second. <laughs> now I am still here, I'm on my way back now. I am in a place they used to call Skanker Buoy. They did. I, it has changed. This dual carriageway that will bypass Sankabui, it will take you up there all the way round until you come to the Mon Bridge. Now, when I came along this road a couple of hours, hour and a half ago, I saw the Paradise Resort right here on my left. And it almost took my eye out <laughs> to think Camelot would appear right here. It is, it looks like Camelot, does it not? These turrets, and how white. It looks like it should be in France, if it was beige, or in Greece, if, if they had castles. <laughs> I don't know if they did. Now, I did just arrive, parked there. I had a little chat with a guy and asked if I could quickly just come in and make a little film, capture on the vlog, Paradise Resort. He said I could keep my boots on, which is good, but look at that. Look at that. It must be an angel. It must be an angel. It's beautiful. It's got decor just in the little waiting lobby area. It's really nice. It's really pleasant. And as you go in to reception, it's okay? How much? Oh, no, okay, okay. <laughs> he ought to be on camera. That's okay, man. Beautiful seating area. Wow. So you'll have to look up how much this is online. But you've got your Roman pillars. It is, that's Greece. Over there, you've got Athens in the middle. You've got Rome, sorry, Rome in the middle. Athens to the left. And you've got England down here with Rudolph. Man, that is it. That is a beautiful little place. It really is. And you've got the laundry just down there. That's a really cool spot just so you can see what kind of accommodation, how classy this place is. Kapoom. Huh? 
Oh, this way. Yeah. I'll go go round. Yeah. Okay, cup and cap. Thank you. He's a helpful guy. That's what he kept. Oh man, they're putting new tiles in. Look, tiling, wicked. Cup on. But he just said I could have a little walk around here. People are nice. They're kind. They're friendly. Helpful. You look back into this nice area where you can chill in the shade. Oh, it's where the staff do their laundry. All the staff have got it good, haven't they? What a nice staff area. Well, they'll probably do refreshments or that could be their kitchen. Because I don't think this place is operational yet. I don't know, it looks like they're getting it ready. Starting to. How oh, nice. Different paint effect with the gold and the cream. Look. It's nice, it's weathered. Oh man, it's nice. It is. Wow, as we look down to the banana plantation. He didn't even go and sit in the cheap seats. There's a little solar power for his lamp. Man, you just look here over night time in the jungle, watching birds. Oh man, butterflies. There's a waterhole right down the bottom. So you'll probably get a few mozzies at night as well. But what a really cool place to sit. Right here. Man, thank you, baby. Lovely looking Camelot Castle. Man. Swaddy Cap. How you speak English a little bit? No. no? How much for room? How much for room? You know? Yeah, room. How much? Check bin? You don't know? Okay. Are you open or, or just open? You don't know. So you don't get many Westerners. Perhaps lots of Chinamen stay here before they go across to Burma to open up slave trade. Trade. Don't know. Don't know. Just hearing these things. It's okay. It's okay, Spotty. It's okay. Cup on. Cup on cap. Have a good day. Thank you. Beautiful spot. Okay, cup on cap. Thank you. Nice room. Let me have a look around. So maybe it is where rich Chinese people come before they cross the border and then go and set up some sweatshops. To get people on the phone to call the UK, speak to your gran and rob them of all their life savings. No, no, that's what these people do. Ah, right, hang in there because we are not done yet. <laughs> Happy. You know I love proper content. I love it, just riding around, never know what you're gonna find. This looks like content. I think there's a football tournament. Sweaty Cap, Sweaty Cap, hello. Hello. And there is halftime intermission. This is halftime entertainment. Sweaty Cap, half, half time? Yeah. Are you winning? Yeah, I win. You win? Yeah. What, what? Football. Yes, football. Good, good, good. They're all youngsters, they're all there. They're all from the local schools, I should think. There's not many people going to speak English. Yeah. But man, they're all out here playing football. What? This school. This school. Okay. Kaboom. I may have just got here. Just as the game ended, I was riding along there. <laughs> and saw all this football, the drums, and the, uh, what do you call them? Oh man, what are they called with the, uh, them, sweaty cab. You good? Cup warm. What are they, cheerleaders? You call the ladies cheerleaders? Sweaty cab is good. Very good. <laughs> really good. So I don't know if they're getting ready for the second half, man. Oh, it's just wicked. I love saying Kabui. I really do. It's as close as I've been to real Thailand for quite some time. And, ah, this isn't a school. It's a monastery. So I think we have more participants. And here, look, this is a sports track. This is Wembley in Sankabui. It is, it has the sports track. The big goals are there for practice. This is the main football pitch. It's, it's quite something to see. It is, like I say, it's rare, raw, rural, real Thailand. You don't get it that much anymore because of tourism. Oh, 
Oh man, it's cool. Like battery's almost on the yellow. Sweaty cab. Hello. So what are they playing here? They're playing boot bowls or bill. It's like it's a huge sports day. Pressure on, young man. Oh. Oh. Next one's coming up. Oh. He's got no, he's got a bit. Oh. Where's he going? He, oh, good, good. Next one. Pressure on here. He's going to get it. Oh, bit of skill there. Here's the judge, the yellow. I thought he was the judge. No, that was good. Very good. Can't pull him, this guy. Man, you is having another go. Got a bit of spin. No. No, too, too much technique, technique, technique ability. Just sling him in, son. <laughs> but it is, look, I'm sure it's a monastery. All the monks have got their gowns and their towels hanging up. So I'm sure we're in a monastery within the temples. That is. But it looks like the action is back in. As they're not playing football, they're playing. <laughs> One can only assume this is basketball. It's brilliant. The cheerleaders are now in full swing. <laughs> As we've got, it is, look, basket. That's a basket. That's a ball. This is basketball tie style. Yes. <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm on the pitch. I hope I don't get done. She is, she's, she's telling me to get off the pitch. How cool is that? That is proper professional. Kaboom! She got she whistled me to get off the pitch. That is brilliant. So here we go. <laughs> the basketball back to the referee. Come on. I want to see a goal or a basket. Ah! It is basketball. They're not moving with the ball. Well, that move, moving one far. That was close, really close. So all, all the cheerleaders get ready. Hang on, I want to see a basket. Oh! <laughs> they are really good. That was fantastic. That really was. Kapum, Kapum Cap. That was brilliant. Ah, oh, man. You don't see this every day. I don't. It buzzes me up. It really is. So it must buzz you guys up because it's not something you're just going to see every day. And the kids look awesome. Kapum, thank you. Kapum Cap. Kapum, thank you. That was awesome. That was brilliant. Kapum. Kapum Cap. Can I get out? <laughs> I can. Oh man. I'm so glad I've made this adventure today. That's what it is. Oh, I'm so glad. Because yesterday I was sitting there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh. lost the will to live. It's everything. Not, not knowing what to do. And, that, and then I thought, oh, I don't know. I think this is what I thought about. Oh, I don't know. If I go to Skankabui, see if I can find some content. Winner. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, I found my way to the original road of Sankabui. This one. Now the bar that I went in isn't here. <laughs> it is not, it is gone. It has changed quite a lot, but this was the road. I was looking for, as you can see right here, the red bridge, which is new, right there to this estuary. Ah, wicked. Which you cannot take your horse across. No, 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 you cannot no more. Ah. And I tell you guys, I am in need of some refreshment but look it's just a beautiful view you can walk down some steps to go across here i suppose there's businesses there but oh man 
that's really good. I can see the bridge I've walked across, walked back. I can now see the not so abandonment that I walked all around. That is pretty good. It's pretty cool. And here, I think, I've got one or two little apartments that you could rent. Here. Oh, I was hoping. No, it's just a car park for you to walk down there. Yeah. I'm hungry, I want some grub. So I'm now gonna go back up where I was to see if I can find somewhere to have a happy ending. Alrighty. Whew, lots of guest houses here, hotels, apartments and all sorts. But I couldn't find any restaurants and I certainly couldn't find any bars. Excuse me, I found a market. <laughs> We do, we do have a market where you can get some decent fruit. You can by the looks of things, some juice, and there are eateries over there. But, <laughs> oh man, it's all, it's all a bit like this, eateries where they've got pots of food. Been there since this morning. Am I? No, no, popcorn. I'm not got a chance at, no. I haven't even eat, I haven't eaten yet. I think it's the third time I told you that. I still haven't eaten. 7-Eleven. Because all I need to do now, uh, it's gone two o'clock, so there's no happy ending for this vlog, unfortunately. Because I'm going into 7-Eleven, some electrolytes. I am. Which should get me back to Kanchanaburi. I'll get my hammer down, I think. So I haven't flown the drone. <laughs> my time here has run out. So, Oh man, will it flicker? Yes. All right, give us a second, I'll be out in a minute. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that was good. One down, one to go. That was Sankabui. I hope I show you enough. I really do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as what I've made it. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed making it. That's really cool. I'm really glad yesterday. I thought, you know what? I give up on the I couldn't be bothered and, and, and focused on the I want. And I've been wanting to come back to this town for quite some time. And so I'm really glad I made the effort in getting here and making this vlog. So I hope you appreciate it because now, and I've got to ride home and finish the vlog for the Sean King channel that I started making here. Sankabui or bust. Well, I'm here, and I've got to ride home. And I've got to find some grub on the way back. I've got to fill up with fuel, and I need a wet. So until next time, au revoir.